everyone and welcome back to the depths, the depths of Twilight Forest, where we are digging around, gathering plenty of supplies to put into our little bamboo rat exhibit. And I was looking for exactly these, these giant root things. And just as I was about to climb up to the surface, we found some. So I'm very excited and we are going to peck away and gather these up. We're gonna see, I want these to be in the ground and actually in the walls. Wouldn't that look good? And we did it. We got the roots! We got the roots! And apparently they can be used as fuel and that's about it. But we're going to be using them as decorative pieces in our cave exhibit. So we're gonna gather as many of them as we can. If they lead to like a live root, that would be really cool. Because then we could decorate with live roots and especially around like the oreberry area. Mm, that would be awesome. But it was really funny because I was like, okay, time to go to the surface and dig under a tree. And then I climbed up here and I was like, <gasps> Those are what I'm looking for! So we managed to find quite a few, and I can't believe that we're desperately clawing at the cobwebs. We might do a little bit of exploring on the surface for more cotton, so we can get some cotton planted back at home, and we can start having a reliable resource of string, because holy days, we need a lot of string in order to take care of all of the safari nuts that we get. All right, come on, come here, root. I gotcha, I got your root strand. And what's going on in here? Oh my goodness. This is definitely the place to come. Oh my gosh, there's so many roots. We must be like getting close to a mega big tree. That would actually be kind of fun to like crawl up and find the tree from the bottom. Like, aha, I found you. I love Bat Pick. Isn't Bat Pick just the best? Look at this. We're gathering all this stuff. Go, Bat Pick, go. There we go. Almost there. What is like, yeah, haste, silky, auto repair. Mm, Calf gave us a great present. We really leave suggestions in the comments below. What kind of awesome presents should we give the rest of the gang? Because I am about done being so secluded. I am ready to hang out with our awesome friends again. And I want to give them presents for being so awesome. And I want to do all sorts of fun events with them. So let me know what you guys think we should give them as like presents and things like that. Um, I want these root strands. I want these stalactites and stalagmites because we need so many of them. I'm gonna come over here. Can we gather everything? We better shove it all, oops, wrong backpack. We're shoving it all in here. There we go. There we go. I love that we have these roots. That's just fantastic. That makes me so happy. I can't see a thing. There we go. Oh, there's more roots over there. What's going on down here? Have we been down here? Did we make, <gasps> I think we made a giant circle. And there's a bat, there's a bat right here. Do I not have, I have like a rat and a golem and a kitty. <gasps> and he's right in front of my face and I can't catch him. <laughs> Do I let the rat go? <laughs> oh, so we'll be back to Twilight Forest to collect more rats too. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's frustrating. So close and yet so far away. So close. Oh, and there's some stuff down there. There's some, there's a lot of roots up here though. So let's finish gathering these up really quickly because these are actually something the more I thought about it, I realized it can go in like all of the cave exhibits because we're going to have a lot. Oh, that just grew, I think. Cool. Because we're going to have a lot of different cave exhibits. You guys have come up with so many amazing ideas and I can't wait till we start working over in our stronghold. So we might start refurbishing the stronghold pretty soon. In fact, we might invite our friends to help us out with that. Like maybe go over, help them do some stuff. Whoops. And they can help us do some stuff. That would be fun. That would be fun. All right, let's pick away at these and gather up these. There we go. Gather up this, gather up this, harvest this. Doing pretty good. I think there's lava down there. I'm suspicious about there being lava down there. Ooh, there's gold. Nice. I like the abundance of gold that tends to appear in Twilight Forest. And I do think it would be fun to go cotton picking in just a little bit uh, because we do need a lot of cotton. We can't, we couldn't catch that bat because of lack of cotton, because of lack of string, I should say. So that, that was the, the tragedy that just happened. Ooh, there's some more root balls. Might have to go that way. We don't have a lot of roots so far. Oh, there's another one. Like we have a lot of the hanging roots, but we want these guys, these root blocks. We're like being little moles. <gasps> we need to make our mole exhibit. Oh, how did I forget about the mole exhibit? So we've got to make like a mole exhibit still. That'll be so fun. We could probably make like multiple ones. 
too bad we can't make like a naked mole rat exhibit. That would be fun. Well, we could, and we could just say this like, this unfortunate specimen is actually a third naked mole rat. You just have to use a little imagination to kind of make it work. You know what I mean? All right, let's gather up you. Man, I, don't, I guess I've never really just jumped into a cave exhibit inside of Twilight Forest because there are a lot more torch berries. I used to think they were like super rare and hard to find. And you just kind of have to get a little, little bit, uh, get your mole on, you know what I mean? You gotta get your mole on and dive in and all of a sudden you are surrounded by torch berries. So, stalactites and stalagmites too. This is really good. This is actually a wonderful caving expedition because we need all these things. We need all these things for our cave, but it looks like what we're really looking for, which are these root blocks. I think they're closer to the surface where like the trees and things grow. I'm beginning to get that vibe. You know what I mean? It makes sense too, because I guess these will grow anywhere in caves, these root strands, but the root blocks that we're trying to collect probably grow more under uh, like under the big trees. So we'll probably go up in a second. See, we're learning about the ecology of the land, the ecology of Twilight Forest. Oh my gosh, is that like a giant cave? Maybe? No, nah, it's just a little, little air pocket. But it's got some iron. We could collect the iron. Hello, iron. Oh, there's some more of you over here. Oh, look at you. You brought some buddies. There we go. All right, nice. And we're going to wiggle out here. I'm just going to glance down here real quick. Yeah, Torchberry. Oh, there's there's another one. So maybe my theory was wrong. <laughs> and it's just kind of at random where you can find these roots. So I know they tend to like appear in clusters. <gasps> there's a live strand root, a live strand root, a live root, live root. Oh, there's a cluster of them. <laughs> just as I say, they tend to appear in clusters. Yes, we wanted these guys. I wonder if they emit any kind of light because we wanted these. <gasps> we could put fireflies because the fireflies won't move so we could at least try to put like some fireflies from Twilight Forest the ones that go on the walls like hang on to things we could try to put those guys um, in the bad exhibit they might make it too bright though all right we got to make room for the live roots there we go live root normal root I'm actually gonna keep these guys out so we can keep track of them Look at that, eight torch berries. We just doubled how many torch berries we had in our chest at home. And string, precious string. Oh my gosh. We're doing it. <gasps> string, how did I, how did I miss the precious cobwebs? Precious cobwebs. Oh my gosh. So much, so much to collect. So much to gather. Come to me, precious torch berry. All right, let's see what's going on over here. More of the roots that I totally destroyed because I used the wrong tool. Delicate, biologist theory. You must be delicate. Eh. No, didn't mean to open the backpack. There we go. Look at the vines. See, we might have to do just some curtains of vines. We're doing cave research right now to see how we must decorate our caves, you see. That's what we're doing. We're figuring out how we can appropriately decorate our cave exhibits. I love it. String. Precious string. But I think... We've probably got enough for now, so now let's just try getting out. Let's just see what we gather on our way out. You know what I mean? So well, that'll be our last haul. We'll pick a little bit of cotton on our way out. Look, we made another loop. How did we make another loop? <laughs> That's amazing. We made another loop. How? How? That's so cool. All right, we'll gather up these stalactites and stalagmites. Let's see. And that one. And... We can make like little alcoves where we'll put the glow caps too. So they can be decorative items in our cave system as well. <gasps> string! Oh, still never thought I would be so excited about string, but I sure am. Stalactites. I'm sure you guys have gotten this memorized by now, but stalactites hold tight to the ceiling. Stalagmites might be big one day. And that's how you can tell the difference. All right, there we go. All right. Harvest those up. Nice. Okay, so we did make like a little full circle. Um, I'm just going to jump over here because we want these torch berries. No, come back, torch berry. Oh, come back to me. And then we'll try, we'll go this way and then go up. And that'll be, that'll be escaping the caves. Man, knowing how quickly we go through our stalactites and stalagmites, it's really hard to pass any of them up. 
But we don't need every single one, Siri. It's okay. You can come back. You can come back for them. In fact, getting the cotton would be more important because we can't catch our freaking animals anymore. Uh, and I don't want to use up our precious emeralds for, for like, reusable safari nets when we can make them ourselves if I just got, like, some string going. We are going to have to buy some more leather pretty soon from the lovely ladies who run the Leathers and More shop, though. All right, there we go. All right, um, we're going to take the high road because it's time to get out of here. So we'll go up. The goal is to go up. There we go. I think we have enough root strands. Oh, I say that now. And then later I'll be like, we don't have enough to decorate everywhere I want to. And I hear another bat. That's why we have to get some cotton, you guys. Oh, look, and I think we already found a way out. Sweet. Now we can get the cotton. All right, let's see. Got that. Is that the way out? Oh, it is. Dang, we didn't even go in as, as deep to the caves as I thought we did. But this was the perfect place to come. No mobs that are really going to harass us. Plenty of supplies. Occasionally we can find bats. And we definitely got plenty of unique materials. So let's go ahead, pop all these in here. Look at all the stalactites and stalagmites we collected. My goodness. We got quite a few ores, got quite a bit of gold. Oh, a stack and a half of those root strands. That makes me happy. Boom, another root strand. And then you got the glow caps and one more stalactite there. Wonderful, wonderful. Now we're above ground. Oh, and there's an apple tree so I can get a snack. <laughs> so let's see. Well, we'll gather up these bamboo shoots. Uh, if I can reach any of, can I reach you? Mm. 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 Nope. <laughs> he, he's a lucky, lucky little, little, like, um, firefly. There we go. Sorry, I'm so hyper. I'm like, yay, we gathered our things. Now I'm going to get these apples. Just going to collect them. Are you ready? No, that apple's not ready. All right. And there's our house. So we didn't wander too far. We're going to wander just a little bit, kind of in a circle. <gasps> How did I miss the green gold down here? I can't believe I missed this moss. Are you kidding me? Get over here, moss. I can't believe I've missed that in the past. Clearly, there are treasures to be had. Oh my gosh, is this like one of those cave? Like, this is one of the little mine hill things. It sure enough is. Talk about missing treasures. Jeez. Well, let's see. Oh, and there's one of the warthogs. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> what? Um, well, let's go check. I feel like this is a trap. Doesn't this feel like, doesn't this like look like a trap? Like, is this a trap? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's make a little way to get down. Okay. I'm strong. Okay. I can't open that because, oh, so much string. All right. I'm going to throw down a torch. No, 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 torch. Nobody, huh? All right. Well, let's go ahead and clear this, uh, clear this chest so it can open. Nice! Look at all these emeralds and an ore magnet. Oh my gosh. So there's just like treasure. We just like walked in. I mean, that's the best chasm intersection ever. Makes my job. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. We just like literally walked into it. We have not explored around our own base camp from months ago. Is that not embarrassing? Oh my goodness. Well, and we've got all these root strands. They're really hard to like churn through because look how, hang on, we'll get this one. And then look how fast Bat Pit goes through stone. These are really difficult. You have to kind of chip away at them for a long time. There we go. But we got it. Oh my goodness. So let's go see what uh, some of this other stuff is. We'll just kind of wander around. I'm going to have to get out my other set of torches pretty soon. But there's lots of chest. So far, no, no hostiles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. It's just like a free-for-all. Nice. Well, we found a nice little cave where we can just like collect a bunch of treasure. Oops, and I'm not picking these up because we've got to put some of this treasure away. Oh, my goodness. How exciting! We just totally like stumbled on an awesome little treasure chest. Well, fun. All right, let's see. Oh, and I hear more bats. Oh, 
That is going to be like the great irony is that I'm going to hear bats and just never be able to get to them. Let's swap the stone out so I can climb up to some of those. You know what? There's a lot of stalactites and stalagmites in the world, and I've just never noticed before. Look at the size of this one! We should make a giant one! I want to make a giant stalactite and stalag or stalactite. That's so cool! I want you. Come here. Did I pick it up? I picked it up. Well, but there we go! <laughs> so we've discovered some treasure! Let's go check out the treasure chest, and then I can peck away at the... The various... Oh! <laughs> that's... That's smart, Siri. Just dig gravel onto your head. Oh, gracious. So let's gather that. Yeah, there's a lot of more stalactites and stalagmites in the world. I guess because I was never actively collecting them. I just started ignoring them, but they're not as hard to collect as I thought they were. So let's go check out the chest. I can always come back because this is an easy walk from the portal. So let's just check out the chest, gather those up, and then I can always come back to finish collecting things in here. And the collecting the bats. Oh my goodness. All right, what's in here? <gasps> That's one of like, my jaw just hit the floor. That is the peacock feather fan. It is one of the rare drops of Twilight Forest. Oh my gosh, yes! We have a peacock feather fan. Like my face is all red. I'm so excited. I was like, oh, it'll just be some ingots. Oh my goodness, because this thing, this thing pushes mobs. When you use it, we can play so much with Kath and Lubot with that. I, I gotta be careful though, it only has so many charges. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. That is gonna be so much fun to play with. Let's see what, what's in the other treasure chest. Let's find them. Because there should be a whole bunch in here. Let's see. Alright, check in this corner. And we will harvest up. Oh, is that glowstone? Sweet holy moly days. Oh, it's Twilight Treasures. Twilight Treasures for sure. I cannot believe that we just got a Peacock Feather fan. Like, that is going into my treasure box for sure. Oh my gosh. It, it totally surprised me, you guys. It blew my mind. Gather that. Gather this. Gather this. Gather this. This and this. There we go. There we go. Gather you. There we go. Oh, and that string. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll have to come back. I get distracted because I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So much, so many stalactites and stalagmites. But not right now. Now we're going to just dig around in the treasure chest and gather up these root collection things. We probably have plenty of stalagmites and stalactites. We could probably, like, open up a little a little spot. <gasps> we should make a cave in our cave system to store these. Duh. Why didn't I think of that before? Oh, more chest. Okay, let's come over here. There's, like, no monsters either. Oh, wait. Oh, fudge. Just as I say that. They're just both back here. Hang on. No, you don't. Mm -mm. No, you don't. Not gonna let you. Not gonna let you. There. Eh. Rah. I guess some of the glowstone was keeping them at bay. Well, that's kind of good. If we need a zombie spawner, we know where to come now. Uh, did I get that glowstone? No, I'm full up. Alright, hang on. No attacking! Time out! Time out! Little, little dudes, time out! Alright, let me put these away, put that away. <gasps> no. Rude. Little baby spinny thing. I love those little, those little things, so I would love to be able to, like, move a spawner and keep it in a, an area where people can just look at it and be like, yes, this is what a little zombie spawner, this is where zombies are born. When a zombie growls very much, oh look, there he is. He's trapped. We're just going to leave him there. Because we, we won't kill him. See, we'll leave him there. And eventually we can just catch those guys and we can make like a little zombie village. Wouldn't that be cool to make like a little zombie village down inside of um, our stronghold? And you can just look in and we could like give them different names and make like a proper village for them. Whoops, almost fell down. All right, what's inside this chest? Cactus, another uncrafting table. Uh, some carrots and arrows. I'll take them. Why not? Gather up these glow glow berries or glow shrooms, I should say. Look at all this awesome stuff. This is fun. I can't believe we missed this in the past because it is just literally a short walk from base. So clearly, we'll need to do some more Twilight Forest exploring. We should invite. We should invite whoever wants to come. Calf Kaffers or Luba, whoever wants to come on like Twilight Forest picnics, side quest, Twilight Forest picnic. That would be so cute. 
Alright, can I reach that? Oh, oh, I can reach those ones. Alright, let's collect them. Come here, little glowstones. Aren't you so cute? Precious little glowstones. Ooh, stalactite. Or stalagmite, I should say. Wait, where'd you guys go? Were they over here? I think I picked them up. I think I may have picked them up without realizing it. Alright, put that there. Alright, we're almost done, guys. I'm just going to see. I'll peck what I can of these, which is apparently one. We'll come back and get more later. And let's just finish exploring really quickly for any other awesome chest, because a peacock feather fan, that is a true special treasure. And you can see where the chasm intersects this, this little hill, this treasure hill. Alright, look at the glory that you can find around here. Oh, I heard something. Oh, fudge. <gasps> That's a villager! A zombie villager! I'm sorry, brown rat, but the zombie villager takes precedence. Oh, fudge! That is a good shot. Oh my gosh. We're, we're kind of on the run. Just a little bit. Oh, no, that's not a zombie villager. It's just a normal zombie. I got so excited. I was going to release the brown rat. Die! How dare you! Hey, stop it! Get back, get back. Alright, well, huh. I guess there are some monsters in here. But not too many. We'll loop around. We'll finish exploring the chest really quickly. I know, I know. I'm sorry, guys. And let me put these away. We'll make a fast a fast matter of this. Oh, on crafting table, peacock feather fan. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, we could invite the guys and we could just like come and we could do uh, Twilight Forest picnics. Oh, it's one of those little guys. I've never seen you before. They drop coal when they die. I'm sorry. It was, it was necessary. Okay, I think we got that one. Did we get this one yet? <gasps> Naga scale and ironwood ingots. Let's see, baked potatoes, sand. We could always put that in our sifter, so I'll take it. Wow, it's so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. All right, let's see what else we've got over here. I see some glowstone. Any more chest? That's what I really want to know. Any more chests? There's another chest. Oh, and there's another chest. And here's our spawners. Guess what, you guys? I've got some torches as presents. Little hello gifts from me to you are these torches. So there you go. Take that. They'll probably still spawn, so we, we need to be quick about this. I fell down. Now, whoops. Yep, still spawning. Hey, I, that's unfair. You can't trap me in a hole and then kill me. Rude. <laughs> All right, so let's hop over here. Nice. Oh, and there's a zombie working his way towards us. <gasps> it was a zombie villager. It was a zombie villager. Oh, fudge. And there's... Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, they're spawning. Oh, where's my... I'm trying to get my rat out. I'm sorry, rat. I can catch more of you, though. But zombie villagers always take precedence. Don't chew my ankles. You're supposed to be a bamboo rat. Get out of here. Oh, fudge. You startled me. Get out of here. You too. Is that him? That's him. Let's catch him. <gasps> Yay! We have a zombie villager to cure. That makes me happy. All right. We've got to get out of here because this is getting a little messy. So let me finish lighting this up. We'll come visit again. Let me... There's a spawner of some kind. It's another zombie spawner. That's why we got... We got attacked. All right, and these are the last two chests. Uncrafting table, roses. I wonder if that means there were some iron golems here once. <gasps> Another peacock fan! Another peacock fan! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! A second peacock fan! Are you kidding me? No way! Ah, oh, treasure! I don't think Lubot has ever been properly treasure hunting in Twilight Forest, so we'll invite them along next time, because, mm-hmm, we got a great haul. But all right, everybody, we also got, we had to release our second bamboo rat, but it was for a zombie villager's life, and that bamboo rat was kind of rude. He, he like, bit me, so he was, he was a little rude, probably a little bit upset, but that's okay. But all right, I'm going to work our way home. Oh, I've got, I've got some company following me. You're going to be sad when you can't get up here. <laughs> He's all cackling at me. At least we can come and catch some of those guys to put into our 
<laughs> our little uh, mob areas too. So, oh, and there's some cotton. I forgot we were going cotton picking. <laughs> this will be the last of the cotton. I'll just collect like what's over here. Nice. Oh, I can't even pick it up. See, I'm so full up, I can't even pick this stuff up. So, we definitely got lots of fun stuff. I'm happy, and I will see you guys tomorrow as we settle in and finish our bamboo rat exhibit and celebrate all of our new treasure. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.